Use this glitchy run play to expose your opponent's run defense and get big plays. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Also, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, uh, I was labbing out of the Cardinals playbook, in particular the single back wing pair uh, uh, formation, which is basically three tight ends and a single uh, wide receiver and a running back. And I stumbled onto this run play, just made a quick adjustment and realized how overpowering this run play is and why it's so glitchy uh, against an opponent's defense. Now, what's cool about it is that you could find this in so many playbooks uh, and you could build a whole scheme around it. So that's probably what I'm going to do for you guys. But I want to show you this run and why, why it's so special and why you have to put it into your scheme if you see one of these playbooks. So you can find this in the Ravens, the Texans, the Jaguars, the Titans, the Buccaneers, Bills, Patriots, Cowboys, Redskins, Broncos, Raiders, Chargers, Rams, and Dolphins. If you're running these uh, particular playbooks, you got to throw this in your scheme immediately right now. So uh, once again, it's going to be out of the wing pair. And the, and, the, and, the, and the play is going to be the halfback stretch, which is cool about this particular play is that it's your audible. So you can build more of a scheme out of this with pass plays. So we'll just go ahead and show you how this play works. Now, why this play is so special is the way the defense, uh, the defense has to line up. They have to overcompensate for the strong side with all those tight ends, leaving themselves exposed for a big play opportunity off the left-hand side. Now, normally you're going to run off. You wouldn't think of running uh, a stretch play off, the le off to the opposite side where the strength of the field is, but that's where this play gets special. So you're just going to flip the play. And what you want to do is you want to ID the linebacker because this is what's going to make this play special. Now, what I want, I want you to see is how an offensive lineman gets out and gets ahead on that linebacker right there, giving you an opportunity to get some easy yardage. So that's what's cool about this good play is that you're either going to get this tackle to come out and block for you or you're going to get a guard that's going to come out and block for you and take on this linebacker. So if you've got a guy that's used using this linebacker over here because he's probably going to try to bottle up the run. He's going to get a he's going to have to go ahead and shoot a gap and try to get past this blocker uh, this uh, offensive lineman right here. And what's cool about that is now this is going to give you a situation where you're getting one-on-ones on defensive backs in, in an open field. So, you can pick up some fairly easy yards with it. So, we're going to flip the play and then we're just going to go ahead and ID the mic. And we're going to watch that defensive tackle take that guy out and give us an opportunity for a one-on-one -on -one right there. Flip the play, ID the mic, and wait for our blocks to seal. And this is going to be the opportunity. We're going to get those one-on-ones. And if you got your spin move down, you're going to do very well. So let me, guys, let me know. Do you use this play in your scheme? Um, do you actually go ahead and use this this backside uh, the stretch play? It seems to be overpowering. It's going to give you the opportunity to make some pretty good yardage with a running game uh, and actually give you open up your outside run and give you an opportunity to pick up some pretty good yards. So thank you once again for subscribers and my Patreon, guys. If you do like this play, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. And until next time.